friend welcome to another video tutorial from Kimi biology in this video lecture we'll be talking about the virus growth curve let me write virus growth curve okay now what is the virus growth curve virus growth curve means that uh, the period this the specific period that are involved inside the viruses for the division of the virus for the growth of the viruses okay virus growth curve means that we have a graph within the graph we understand the growth of the viruses that how the viruses are divided inside the host cell what are actually happen okay and uh, uh, the three main uh, period that are involved in the uh, growth curve okay so these are related with the virus growth curve okay so virus growth usually usually virus growth curve contain three period okay so let me write three main period for virus growth there will be a uh, first period we have the eclipse period eclipse Eclipse period, okay. Nin, sure. Period. Third, we have stationary period. Period, okay. So we have three kinds of period that are involved in the virus growth curve, okay these are the three period okay now to explain these three period you need to understand the graph okay so let me draw a graph for your understanding whenever you are uh, dealing to understand the virus growth curve you need to understand the this one uh, graph okay let's suppose this is x axis these are the y axis uh, this is x -axis, this is the y axis in x axis we have the time in y axis we have the virus infection okay we have some section okay we have some section what happened in this case uh, first of all uh, that uh, first of all what happened in this case first of all the virus will attack on the cell let's suppose this green dot means that uh, the virus now ready to attack a host cell okay this green represents that the virus are ready to attack a host cell and after they are taking the host cell what happened after that after certain times they will unpack the dna molecule okay uh, no, not a DNA molecule, the genetic material, okay, genetic material could be a DNA, RNA or, or double stranded or single stranded, okay, or uh, so double stranded DNA, single stranded DNA, okay, so we have the genetic material, the gen genetic material inside the virus particle will be unpacked, okay, once the genetic material inside the virus will unpacked, after that what happened, there will be increased in virus division in virus number increasement it means that when the dna material unpacked when the dna material unpacked so what happened when the dna material unpacked so what happened there will be a new copies of the dna will be stored new progeny viruses will be stored okay so this is the repeat uh, this line increase the uh, this line uh, uh, represents the increase in virus number okay so now after that uh, finally we have the last period and this represents the exponential period okay this red one explain the e means x eclipse period this black one represent the exponential period and this blue one represent the uh, stationary 
at stationary, uh, stationary period. Okay. Now, these are the graph. Okay. So what we see, we see that virus will attack on the host cell. After they are attacking on the host cell, the virus will unpack the DNA, uh, unpack the genetic material. Genetic material could be DNA, RNA, okay, any kind of things, uh, any kind of the genetic material, okay. Once the genetic material unpacked, after that there will be increase in virus number. So virus number will be increased. So when the virus number increased, so then again the virus will make a pressure on the host cell by which the all, all of the virus will release after that okay so if I draw if I explain the whole uh, graph with the help of diagram so what happened let's suppose uh, uh, let's suppose uh, this is a virus they have gene of interest DNA RNA or uh, single strand double strand okay let's suppose these are the uh, genetic material present this black one let's suppose a host cell okay what actually the virus do the virus attack to the host cell and once they attack inside the, to the host cell so now the virus get entered inside the host cell okay and what happened after that they have the gene of interest I mean DNA and what happened they release their DNA material now once the DNA material is released so then the DNA polymerase and let's suppose this blue one represent the DNA polymerase the DNA polymerase set and they will start to make what they will start to make the proteins so the black will be represents the let's suppose these are the proteins okay now these proteins are involved to make the structure of what these protein are involved to make the structure of oh, a new viruses so we have new viruses okay so we have a lot of viruses are made okay and they have the gene of interest as well this uh, red one represents the gene of interest okay once the virus make their copy inside the host cell so after that they will put pressure or they release an enzyme which are called lysozyme so with the help of lysozyme what happens the cell membrane will be pressed and all of the virus will release okay so this is the exp uh, this is the epileptic period when the virus attack and they release their genetic material this is called a cleft period when the virus make their copies just like that okay so this is called exponential uh, exponential period uh, okay uh, in this period the protein material or the or the process of the dna polymerase will also happen okay this genetic material so then dna polymerase will sit and uh, uh, protein material will made after that virus structures are made these are called the exponential period and last we have the stationary period means the virus put pressure on the host membrane by which all of the viruses are released once all of the viruses are released from the uh, from the host cell so this period is called stationary period okay so that's in the sense about the virus growth graph okay now i hope this video helpful if you like this video please set the like button share this video and subscribe my channel to get more video lesson okay if you have any kind of question so try to best I write a question in a comment i will try my best to give you answer as soon as possible okay and uh, thank you thank you so much